We do begin tonight with breaking news from the Nueces County Jail, where former mayoral candidate John Medina has just been released. Yeah, I didn't do it. I just told you. This video of Medina shot literally just minutes ago as he walked out of the jail. We do have team coverage of this story that we did break last night. We do begin tonight with our Javier Guerra, who is live at the Nueces County Jail, where Medina spent the night last night. And Javi, you just had a chance to talk to him. What did he say to you? Katya, that's exactly right. And this is exclusive to Chris Six News. We were able to speak exclusively to former mayoral candidate John Medina just moments ago. He just left. Now, John Medina is saying that all of these accusations against him are false. We questioned him on the accusations. We questioned if he did indeed start this fire to his home. He said no. He did tell us that he believes that he is being framed for this, that all of this is being turned against him. We did also speak to him off the record, and he also did tell us that he will be speaking to Chris Six News soon exclusively, so you can count on me to uh, keep you updated on that. But first, I do want to go ahead and just give you all some uh, information on this arrest and on history, on the history of this arson. Now, we do know that this arson did happen on November the 3rd, which is Election Day, or which was Election Day. Now, this happened at around 6.30 in the morning. I was there. I was able to speak to John Medina on the um, arson when it did happen. Now, also, what we do know is that he was arrested on the 4900 block of Mulcry uh, Drive. Now, we also know that he was placed on a $75,000 bond. He did tell us that he has not gotten an attorney yet. He did tell us that he has still not gotten an attorney. He is still looking for an attorney at the moment. Now, and these accusations, again, are arson. This is a felony charge. We also spoke to Nueces County District Attorney, uh, Mr. Mark Gonzalez, who did go ahead and speak to us and told us about the consequences of this. Now, we uh, will be here in the Nueces County Jail to bring you the latest as it does happen. Remember, you can count on us to keep you updated. Reporting from the Nueces County Jail, Javier Guerra, Chris 6 News.